So guys, I'm gonna give a little snippets of this. So this is gonna be my, one of the quickest videos I'm having. So my loved one is putting together, I guess it's ER gear or ER gear or whatever, the electric standing desk from Amazon. They actually packaged it really nicely. We just opened it up, but at least they protect the corners. So to the side, we have a drill and a screwdriver already out. And now we're just going to go ahead and make sure all of these pieces that they say you should have is actually included. So like Ikea, if you're familiar, they have the little Allen key wrenches in there. They have the smaller um, bolts, if you will, and then the little wooden pegs that help to insert your panels together. So this is what you should have inside of it. I've been gardening, you guys, so I'm trying to keep my hands out of the frame. So all of these things are included. These things right here are included in this little package right there. So here it indicates is the right desk leg, which actually translates to this, which has the power supply, power cord there. Then the left desk leg, which is this one right here. Keep in mind that it's nicely illustrated here, but you know how some actually put the stickers on, they don't, but it should be really self-evident what's going on here. So these are what I would assume is gonna be your leg bases, because if you see here, there's that little curve there that shows that little dial looking thing right there. And these things, they separate it, but these are just those items that are sealed in these little sectioned of bags right here. And then we have what is called the transmission, transmission rod, which is right here. Okay. Okay. Again, they kind of separate what they already put in these sectioned off sealed bags. So we already have that. I've already showed you the transmission rod. And then we have the crossbar, which correlates to this. Has this little L bracket kind of on there and it goes the length of the desk it appears. Okay. Next, you also have what is called your side plates. So we'll see where those go. As you look at the desk, you can kind of see how everything's come will come to fruition. Okay, so that's everything on this page. As we turn to the rest of the things here, and this is just the details of the desk and also the max load information there as well. So in this little section bag here, you can see that I have an on bagged everything here, but that is a storage hook. So I'm right here, I'm assuming obviously is for what it says, which is pretty self-explanatory. Here is the control by which you can raise the desk up and down. And I suppose that if you have a mix up or a mishap, you have extra screws and pegs. This is kind of like, not bifold, but it's kind of two sections. So you have one on top and then you also have another one, another panel that's underneath, but it's not gonna be like that. It's gonna be splayed out flatly. And I'm assuming this is gonna be the back where you can actually draw your cords or pull your cords through on that back end. So these would be what would be your corner protectors here, bumpers, AKA bumpers on the side of your desk as well. So. It protects your desk as well as our legs, right? So you'll see that once it's all installed. So we have gone through everything. It is the right color and we have everything that we need to go ahead and put this desk together. Let's get started with that. So first, what you need to do is get your crossbar and then get your right leg and left leg. We're doing this flipped. And then you're gonna take your bolts, the short bolts from the package that is labeled A, and take your largest Allen wrench and start screwing them in to the back, to the holes here and line it up so that the bar is flush with each leg, okay? So I just put one in loosely so that 
he can go ahead and put his in and we can make sure that the holes line up properly. So next, we're going to attach the side plates with the bolts that are in package A. And then there's two bolts right on the side. And it shows you that the arrows go outward. Okay, shows you that. Okay, so next we're going to install the transmission rod. Part right here that has the housing on the end is where you attach to this part right here, which is the actual motor for the desk. Okay, so it says that the screw should be facing out on this end of the transmission rod. This is the extension rod. It will appear as though it's too short. However, all you have to do is turn this knob here, which will allow you to extend it so it fits in place. Okay. And then once you have it in position, you can re-tighten it. One thing to note is that that little tiny Allen wrench is for this. Once you set your transmission rod in place, have it where you can have access to it so that you can then take the tiny Allen wrench that is in the packet D to tighten it up. So you're gonna take the wooden pegs that are in the F package and attach those inside of the desktop panels and go from there. Now that the peg's in, all there is to do is just go ahead and have somebody else press that other panel so that they can be joined together. Okay. Now we have the two panels together, which makes the desktop. We're going to get the screws out of the package that is labeled E. Once you have, make sure you have your package for the screws in package E. And then you can do this alone, but it's nice to have a second pair of hands and you're going to then place your desk base to the actual desktop area. And there are pre-drilled holes in the base of the table and the tabletop for you align and insert or screw in those E screws. We started with the middle, not completely tightening the screw so that it gives us wiggle room to get the rest of the screws on the outside. So where there's two on each panel that lines up and make sure your screws line up and then they line up on this. I wasn't taping anything. We did the middle first to make sure um, we gives then not overly tighten them so to make sure we have some wiggle room and then on both ends I'm going to do this end and I'm going to do the other side. Okay. Got two screws in here now I'm going to go on the two on the outer end here. Okay so as you see now we have the four screws that are on the outer arm here. And then we have the four on this side as well. And then the two in the center are now tightened appropriately. So next is gonna be the G G's, which they're just hooks, I guess. I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but we'll find out, but they're hooks. So these hooks here actually go to just where we attach the actual brace onto the legs. And if I didn't say, you take these out of the packet that is labeled E, Echo 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so the controller is going to be set on the side where the motor is, obviously. The leg that has that attached to it. And then it has two holes in the front for that. And it also has the connector that attaches on as well. Yes. A screws. Okay, and you're gonna attach that with the remainder of the E screws. Okay, once you can attach the controller, then you should go ahead and connect it. And it's obviously pretty self-explanatory. You have the female end and then the male end on the other side, and it will snap into place. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the power supply that also has the other hook on the controller. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now that we've flipped it over, it's pretty big actually. This is 55 by 28. The power cord was plugged in, it came on right away. That's a good sign. <laughs> okay, so I guess, I don't know about these, these presets that you can have apparently. Oh, cool. It's quiet, you guys. Look at that. Here it goes, you guys. Oop. Down pretty quiet especially if you're on the phone it won't be too alarming one two three I'm assuming that the, those are presets just like you have in a driver's side car that you want certain heights that you want to set it to and he did a pretty good job if you have small children or anyone that is accident prone it's a good idea for their bumpers but it's not really necessary because the corners are actually rounded so nice to have just in case you may have kids that you want to protect one day or whatever but I think that's pretty cool you guys so I guess you can give updates and see how it performs it's pretty cool and that it does have just like most desks nowadays the little gathering but it's kind of concealed and flush which I think is a good quality and then it also has these hooks on the side that if maybe if you have something to the side that you can kind of put things away or maybe even wrap it around so that it's not in the way as well or if you have a purse or whatever and i think it's pretty cool